Every month during the time of the new moon, we have an opportunity to focus on our goals and our desires. We have kind of a portal of time that we can concentrate on planting new seeds for manifestation in our life. I'm here today to talk to you about the upcoming new moon in Aries. It happens exactly on April 14th at 8.29 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. You'll have to convert that to your own time zone depending on where you live. After the new moon is exact, the moon starts to increase in light. And so if you think about it, the seeds and consciousness that you plant will begin to grow until the next cycle begins at the next new moon. So what you need to tune into and understand are the themes of that particular new moon, the kinds of energies that we have present. So I want to talk to you about the sign Aries. Aries is a fire sign. It's ruled by Mars, which is the warrior planet. It's an action-oriented energy. Moon in Aries is one of my personal favorites because that's where my moon is in my natal chart. So I understand this moon very well. So the theme for this month is going to be action. What's important is that when you sit down at your new moon time, hopefully you'll take some sacred time and hopefully you'll have a moment to really focus on what's appropriate to bring into your life at this time. You'll have some time to focus on where you want to expand. But the theme with that Aries energy is not just thinking about it, it's taking action. What's really important for this next month is that you focus on specific action steps to realize those goals or dreams. To manifest things takes action. Now, the other frequency that's very important during this Aries new moon and for the next month is courage. You have to be brave right now. You have to have courage because you won't be able to take those action steps without courage. Courage, um, initiating new things, pioneering new paths, that's all about the Aries energy. The other thing that's important with this frequency is self-reliance and confidence, really believing in yourself right now and putting your needs first, understanding what your needs are and understanding how you can make those happen on a daily basis with appropriate action. So even if that just means you change your habits a little bit, you change how you speak, you change the thoughts that go through your head so that you create new habits, those are all little minor action steps. That's a great thing. But the other things you might want to consider, first of all, right after the new moon is exact, you might want to sit down and make a list. What feels appropriate to do on a daily basis to manifest your goals and hopes and dreams? And probably you've already been feeling these urges because the sun has been in Aries for a while now. This new moon is happening at the tail end of the sign Aries. It will go into Taurus pretty soon here. So you've probably been feeling that urge to grow and expand and take action. It's a high growth period. So figuring out what you need to do on a daily basis and having the courage to do that is extremely important. And focusing on courage is important for a couple different reasons. And I want to talk about the larger astrological cycles happening that are going to particularly connect with this new moon in Aries. This summer, the planet Uranus is going to move into the sign Aries for a three-month period. And it's like a preview of what's going to happen in 2011. This is a big cycle shift right now, and I'm sure you're feeling it in the world. The economy is tough, uh, the energy is difficult right now, and it's requiring basic courage and self-confidence to get through this period. I mean, we're being bombarded with a lot of intensity right now. We're being bombarded with limitation, with stress that's being radiated from people. It's psychic pollution and it affects your energy. So you have to be brave and you have to have courage just to believe in yourself and just to believe that things really are gonna be okay. So during this summertime, when Uranus moves into Aries and also Jupiter moves into Aries and the two planets are gonna to be together in the early degrees of Aries for June, July, and August, we're gonna have a little preview about the phase change that's coming in in 2011. Now that Aries energy, all the words I've talked about so far, being brave, you know, having courage, self-reliance, self-confidence, 
um, putting, putting your needs first to a place where you become healthy and whole so that you can be an example of that energy to other people, that's all going to be really important. And this summer it could be a little volatile. It could, it's it's going to be a dramatic time. I don't think it's going to be negative necessarily, but what it's trying to do is bring courage up in people, bring that energy of self-reliance, self-sufficiency. And so the way I see this, particularly this summer, even starting right now during this new moon in Aries, I think it would be advisable for you to start thinking about when you go into sympathy, when you see somebody who's going through a hard time, and when you focus energy on that person of feeling sorry for them and wanting to help because you feel sorry for them. And maybe it's appropriate right now to start changing how you think about that. And instead of feeling sorry for them, instead project a feeling of, I believe in you. I know you are incredibly capable. I know that you can pull yourself out of this. And that doesn't mean you don't have compassion and it doesn't mean you don't help when you need to help when you need to offer a helping hand or when you feel it's appropriate to offer a helping hand or even when you're asked, you offer a helping hand. But you never lose sight of the fact that they are incredibly capable and they can change their path. That's the frequency I think that's gonna come in this summer. At least for people who are spiritually aware, tapping into that silent blessing you can offer all people of projecting that belief that you believe in them and Obviously, first, focusing that on yourself. You believe in yourself. You know you are capable of getting out of any situation and making it better. And then silently blessing people with that same frequency. I think when we see Jupiter and Uranus this three months during the summer, I think that frequency will be ripe for the picking. And if you focus on that, I really do think you're working in sync with this new cycle that's trying to manifest itself. And then when we get to 2011, when Uranus moves into Aries for seven years, we're gonna be seeing that in our lives. It's, it's a different paradigm that I think is trying to come in. It's compassion mixed with courage and pioneering and self-reliance and inner confidence. Instead of feeling sorry, it's blessing people on a different level. I'd like to end this with sharing a technique with you, a simple technique that can last you the entire month. And that is to get a water bottle. Take the label off and then grab a Sharpie permanent marker and writing some of the key words for this new moon on that bottle, like courage. Um, maybe even writing your goals, writing down the action steps that you would like to take or the end result, the manifestation that you would like. And then you hold that bottle of water and you visualize and feel all that energy. You, you imagine your goals as already manifested. You charge that water, and then you drink a little bit every day. And then every day when you take a sip of this water, before you drink it, you think about all that energy. You think about what you want to manifest. You think about courage. You think about being brave, supporting yourself, and then you infuse yourself with that. I'm Kathy Rose. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and enjoy the new moon in Aries.